The Democratic Party has a problem. Congresswoman Ilan Omar, known for making anti-Semitic comments, now downplaying the 9-11 terror attacks. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. The New York Post blasting Omar. Here's Thursday's front cover. But some of her radical cohorts are defending her. Listen to this. This is just pure racist act by many of those, hateful acts by those, because she does speak truth. We are getting to the level where, the, where this is an incitement of violence against progressive women of color. Republican Congressman and retired Navy SEAL Dan Crenshaw also sounding off against Omar, tweeting this. First member of Congress to ever describe terrorists who killed thousands of Americans on 9-11 as some people who did something, quote unquote, unbelievable. AOC coming to Omar's defense with this ridiculous response. You refuse to co-sponsor the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund, yet have the audacity to drum a resentment towards Elon with completely out-of-context quotes. In 2018, right-wing extremists were behind almost all of U.S. domestic terror killings. Why don't you go do something about that? Congressman Dan Crenshaw joins me now. I mean, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words, Congressman, um, and we can just take this one at a time. W how would you like to respond to AOC saying that you need to do something about it? I mean, y y you did lose your eye yeah. protecting her uh, fighting overseas for our country. Yeah, I know. There's a lot to unpack there, right? And uh, it, you know, it's like you said, it's almost not worth responding to. Okay, but but let's unpack this. Okay, so. So she thinks that uh, co-sponsoring a bill, by the way, that isn't out of committee yet, means that's how you're defending 9-11 victims. Last I checked, I, I thought I did defend 9-11 victims. <laughs> I went overseas and, yeah. and tried to make sure that this attack never happened again exactly. and made sure to take the fight to the enemy that committed it. It's not just her either. It's also her counterpart in New York, Max Rose. I mean, the fact that they would double down on this and try to provide cover for Ilhan Omar when... When all you have to do really is say, hey, you know, she misspoke, or maybe, you know, maybe she didn't mean it that way. Why don't you say that? Yeah, why, this, all she this, has this to say is, should... I was a little too flip. Uh, perhaps my language was a little too imprecise. I know that 3,000 people died on that horrible day, and those some people were uh, radical al-Qaeda terrorists who we've been trying to bring to justice. But she doesn't right. do that. She actually doubled down uh, with this tweet. Look, look at what uh, Omar tweeted about this. This is from, I guess, uh, the other day. The people and the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. That's President George H. or George W. Bush. Was Bush downplaying the terrorist attacks? What if he was a Muslim? I mean, George I W. Bush. Yeah, I mean, George W. Bush <laughs> went to Ground Zero when there was still smoke up there, and we didn't even know it was Al Qaeda exactly. And he says, you know, they brought these buildings down, and he went into Afghanistan and he did something about it. What is she doing? I don't know. I, I think she needs to hire a different comms director. I, I don't. I don't even know what she's getting at with that particular tweet. I, I, th again, th there's too much material here. It, it comes at us every single day, Jesse. And uh, well, you know, I, I think like I think she needs to stop. Is I don't like the fact that they try to use her gender or her uh, Muslim faith oh, yeah. or her race as a shield. Like she says whatever she wants. It's crazy and inc completely irresponsible for a, well, a sitting he, member of Congress. And then the minute you criticize her, she says, oh, you're attacking me because I'm a Muslim or I'm a woman or I'm black. Right. And, and this, is, this is the worst kind of argumentation. So, 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 so what they're doing is they're trying to silence any kind of arguments against them. Why? Because they don't actually have an argument to make. So what they do is they'll use identity to try and silence uh, anyone else from, from saying anything. You're not allowed to say that because of who I am. Right. Well, sorry, no, that, that, that's not how things work in a democracy, and especially amongst mem members of Congress. We are supposed to debate ideas. If you say something, we should call it out. I mean, that, that is the point of this. That's why, we're, that's why we were elected. So to say that you're not allowed to talk about something because of identities is, is nonsense. And it, it's also sort of bigoted in itself because you're assuming that everybody of a certain skin color or gender should think a certain way. 
And that, that, is, that is really wrong. It's the content of your character that matters. It's the ideas that you have. And that's what we should actually be debating here. Yeah, because if that congressman or woman said the exact same thing she said, and it was a straight white male, we would still be saying, do not say that. What are you talking about? It has nothing <laughs> to do same thing. with what she looks like. It's what comes out of her mouth. Um, you know, she's, uh, what, three months in, she's already caused a huge headache for Nancy Pelosi, so that's fun to watch. But besides that, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't Pelosi, see Pelosi, by the way, also <laughs> isn't a co-sponsor on that bill that AOC mentioned. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, All right, Congressman. I mean, it's, it's, it's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Congressman, I, 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 we'll leave it at that. Thank you for serving our country. Um, you did a lot more than, uh, than what AOC did, so let's remind everybody about that. Have a great rest of the weekend. <laughs> right. uh, thank you.